Hello and welcome to another Rock Climber Life video. I am your host, Jif Zafford. Today we are doing some uh, basic exercises for shoulder recovery if you've already injured your shoulders or to prevent injury. Uh, and you can do these exercises to build up all the small muscles in your shoulder, in the rotator cuff, and in the back. All you need is a very simple and cheap TheraBand. These come in all different resistances and you just tie uh, a knot in each end for handles and about an arm, an arm length of, of TheraBand will we'll do the trick for these exercises. The first one are front raises. So you step on the middle of the band and hold the band through the loops and the exercise is bringing your arms straight forward and then down. You always want to keep your thumbs up on this one. You do not want to do the exercise like this. I personally have had uh, sh uh, shoulder surgery in each shoulder and these are some of the exercises that my surgeon and physical therapist prescribed to recover from these injuries. One of these was the front raises. So again, the thumbs are up. Okay, You don't want to shrug your shoulders. Keep your shoulders down and bring the arms straight up to about shoulder height. You also don't want to bring them past shoulder level. It's only to shoulder height. And do about uh, two to three sets of 10 to 15 reps. The next exercise are side raises. You can transition to these right from your front raises. Again, starting with the hands down, we're going to raise our arms to the side this time. Again, keeping our shoulders down. You don't want to shrug your shoulders up next to your ears. Keep your shoulders down. And again, thumbs up on this exercise as well. As far as the position of your arm, you can have it about 45 degrees out all the way to about 90 degrees out in line with your shoulders. So again, side raises this right here. And we don't go past our ears or shoulder length or shoulder uh, height just to shoulder height. Again, two to three sets of 10 to 15 reps of this exercise. The next exercise are called sword draws. What you do is you take your TheraBand and twist it first. And this exercise mimics drawing a sword. So we have to start with a thumb down next to our opposite side using both arms and we bring our arms up and rotate our wrist till the thumb is pointed up like we're drawing a sword and bringing it overhead. So you can transition from uh, your front raises and side raises directly to the sword draws. So the exercise is like this. Starting with the arms down and the thumbs down, bring the arms up and the thumbs go up just like you're drawing a sword. This exercise, you do bring your arms all the way up. And again, do not shrug your shoulders. Keep your shoulders down. And use only the arms and the shoulders to bring, bring your hands up. Again, same as before, two to three sets of 10 to 15 reps. The next exercise are reverse flies. This exercise, again, you can transition right from the exercises that we previously mentioned. In this exercise, you go down into a squatting position, keeping the back straight, and you stick your butt out to the rear to keep your back straight. Look forward, and it's just a reverse fly. So bring the arms out directly to shoulder height. The, the palm should be facing down when you do this exercise. Remember to keep your back straight. That's the important part of this exercise. Again, same as before, two to three sets of 10 to 15 reps. The next exercise are internal and external rotation. So we take our TheraBand and we wrap it around any object such as a banister or something like that. Grab both loops and start with the arm slightly bent out with the arm to the side and rotate in towards your stomach. 
The way to start this exercise, if you've never done these before, is put a, a towel or some other object in between your arm and your side that you can brace against that. Once you get to a more advanced stage and get stronger, you can hold your arm out just, just slightly, having a slight gap in between, and do the exercise from there. And this is internal rotation. From here, you can transition to the external rotation. So it can stay on this side, and we just use the opposite arm, except this time, instead of rotating inward, we're rotating externally. And this exercise uh, will be limited to your flexibility, how far out you can rotate your arm. I can't rotate my arms very far out because I've had surgery in both shoulders. So I don't have the flexibility that I should, but that's the way it goes. And so again, same as before, two to three sets of 10 to 15 reps. Again, keeping the shoulders down, the back straight. We don't want to lift our arm wildly to the side, just keeping the elbow in one position. And this uses the rotator cuff muscles to rotate outward. I recommend doing these six exercises that I reviewed two to three times a week to maintain your shoulder muscle and uh, keep from injuring your shoulders or recover if you've already injured your shoulders previously. I'm Jeff Zafford and you've been watching another Rock Climber Life video. Check out the blog rockclimberlife.com for more. Thanks for watching.